Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last time we did Chocobo stuff, and this time we're doing more Chocobo stuff. Uh, only a little bit though. Uh, we are going... I guess I need to dismount. We're going to... We have a green Chocobo now, which is awesome. And we're going to two different places with it. Uh, this being one of them. This incidentally... Oh, I almost forgot. This spot- no, don't do that, Sig. More like this. Okay. This spot I'm in right now, you can actually reach in two different ways. You can reach it on any chocobo that can climb over mountains, and also one other way that we'll see later. Um, but for now. That voice. It cannot be! Lucrecia? Oh, Lucrecia is like a scientist. I guess that makes sense. In hindsight. Uh, what? What is happening? Is it just me, or did Vi He totally has a Hiller stash! Wow, Vincent, that is not... That is not classy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't... Well, yeah. Anyway. Right, sure. Was that guy, a uh, Hojo? Was he supposed to be Hojo? He didn't look like Hojo. Okay, so... Luc Lucrecia is Sephiroth's mother. Seriously, though. Is this guy supposed to be Hojo? I'll take that as a yes! Only Hojo could be such a massive asshole. Seriously. Everything wrong in this game is Hojo's fault. <laughs> kind of going rapid fire, aren't we? So he shot us, then experimented on us. Also, I think Vincent just transformed? This body is the punishment that it's been get. Okay, it's sort of just going on its own, really quite quickly. Uh, if you say so, Vincent. I mean, to be honest, this, that all went by way too fast for me to really, really comment on it. So, team. I wanted to disappear. I couldn't be with anyone. I wanted to die. But the, but the Genova inside of me wouldn't let me. I've dreamed a lot of Sephiroth lately. Ever since he was born, I never got a hold of him. Not even once. Uh, what? Um, no, no, I don't think that is your problem here. Uh, it is very, it's sad and unfortunate, but... Look, let, let's just, let's just not go there. Oh? Hmm... I mean, there's a very co You know, now that you mention it... I mean, I can't really get a good look at you, but all the same, you do seem quite young. Like, Sephiroth is, was probably around his 30s. I mean, I'd say late 20s, so yeah. I'm, Let's just round it off and say he was 30 went back when he got, you know, killed the first time by Cloud, thrown in the live stream. So, that would make you at least 50. You look pretty good for someone who's 50 years old. Uh... 
Hmm. I mean, he definitely was killed. Whether or not he's dead or not, I mean, it's, it is a pretty complicated, uh, that's a pretty complicated topic. Okay, so we did that. We're gonna come back here later. Probably with a different means of transit. Since we actually have to wait a while. Like, we need to fight. It's the same thing with the Chocobo, so 10-ish battles before we come back. A anyway. Now, onto the actual Chocobo cave. Let's see. It should be... Around here, I think? I'm not sure if it's... My notes say Eastern Wutai, but I don't know if it's an, an Eastern part of Wutai. Oh, oh, you know what, I bet it's right there. That answers that question, I suppose. Yep, you definitely need a mountain truck to reach here. What mystery shall we receive? Why, it is none other than... Mime. I mean, let's just throw that one right... I'm so close to having Mug. Awesome. Uh, Morph? Am I gonna use Morph more? Let me think. Uh, there are definitely a few things coming up I could use Morph on, but whether or not I would is another matter entirely. Ah, uh, that's going to be nice. I will finally get to see whether or not Mug overwrites Steel. I expect it will, although truth be told, I think Steel is legitimately probably better than Mug, at least in some ways. Like, with Steel... This is actually like one of the great revelations of my Final Fantasy career. For the longest, longest time I always thought Mug was awesome because you got to attack and steal at the same time. You always dealt damage, and sometimes you gotta steal, as well. But it turns out that's not really the case. If you actually, if you actually want to steal something, if you're in a case where it's not just a bonus, then Mug is actually sort of a detriment. Uh, because it puts you on a timer. With steal, you can just keep stealing forever until you've, you know, stolen the thing you want. With Mug, you're dealing damage, which not only does it open up to counterattacks and problems with stuff like that, but it also is a problem. Well, well, well. Like I said, it also, you know, actually kills the enemy, which is can be a problem if you really want to make sure you are gonna steal something. In any case, I believe I promised a little bit more over Chocobo. I believe I promised plot stuff. So here we are. Back to Juan once again, bribing an elevator guard with pocket change in order to go upwards to Upper Juan because the dolphin isn't here anymore. Which seems odd because, like, I realize the cargo ship isn't here anymore, so even if the dolphin was here, it wouldn't be able to help me, you know, stow away on the cargo ship. But even so, it strikes me as quite odd that the dolphin itself is gone. Eh, whatever. Um, you know what I should say? Probably? Uh, you know what? I will. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, no. I'm thinking, like, the only point to saving right now really is in case something terrible happens with my game. And if that happens, I'll need to- I will most likely need to re-record the last 10 minutes anyway. And if I need to do this stuff anyway, I may as well just, you know, not. Yeah! It is kind of weird that the gun is gone. You know, considering that it was totally there when we entered the city. Like, they must have been just finishing dismantling it. 
Although that really raises the question of where the hell they put it. I mean, it's a pretty damn big gun. Even if they did finish taking it apart, it's not like it would just disappear, it would use up a lot of space. Anyway... Hello! Oh, not bad. <laughs> Gotta admire that. Oh, we're fighting stuff. A hundred needles? Really? Okay, that was clearly 274 needles, not a hundred. But you know, I'll forgive you. It was still a pretty... A uh, pretty lame attack. Uh, let's heal red. Wait, it had something to steal, didn't it? I'm pretty sure it did. I mean... Wait, did it just attack three times in a row? It... Totally did, didn't it? Oh yeah, it, it has something to steal. Uh, did it use Matra Magic? Wait, Red didn't have Matra Magic? I mean, I guess I gave him Barret's uh, enemy skill. But I'm still surprised that I didn't have freaking Matra Magic on it. Well, whatever. It's a weak attack that is really only useful for uh, grinding kills. We did it! Yay! Oh, right, I wanted to see what the red thing was. I seem to have set off an alarm. <laughs> Whoops. Why, hello! What? I have to wonder if he was gonna ask what, whether he was gonna ask if both of them live or if both of them die. I mean, it goes without saying that both of them are gonna die. Okay, so I kind of help him notice that I have a black screen right now. So you know, I'm kind of wishing I had saved earlier. Uh, yeah. Son of a. Uh, I guess I guess this is where we're stopping. Join me next time when we finish down doing the underwater reactor thing. I guess. Until then, this has been Cast Blue with Final Fantasy VII, and have a great day. Oh. Yeah.